Here are some helpful tips to use before, during, and after you trick or treat this Halloween. Now before you go out, you feed your children so they don't get hungry and they're tempted to eat the candy. Make sure that their costumes are non-flammable and they're not too long so they trip. Make sure that their mask fits properly. We want the, them to be able to see and breathe and only use non-toxic face paint. Now while they're trick-or-treating, only go to familiar, well-lit areas. Be sure to accompany your children and bring a flashlight. If you have small children, go before dark. Also make sure that there is reflective tape on their costumes or they use a, a reflective bag. Glow sticks are very popular on Halloween. There'll be sticks or glow necklaces and the children can break them and it can splash in their eyes. They can chew on the necklaces and ingest small amounts. If this occur, call the Regional Poison Control Center at 1-800-222-1222. Also, dry ice. Dry ice is fine in a punch bowl, but do not put it in an individual cup because it can actually cause burns to the mouth. Also, do not touch it with your hands because it can cause frostbite. And when you get home, make sure you check all of your child's candy. If anything is unwrapped, throw it away. If the wrapper is torn or has a hole in it, throw it away. And only take homemade treats from family and friends. So when in doubt, throw it out. For more information, call 1-800-222-1222 or visit our website at childrensal.org forward slash RPCC.